Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Osubrook501, and today I want to show you guys two glitches that work as of DLC 1 in the most recent patches. I've been doing videos going over some older glitches to show you guys if they still work as of DLC 1. Now, this is going to be two glitches because the first one is really easy, and since my next build is going to be a flag raid build, this is a flat glitch that's been known pretty much since the game came out that this pretty much did this but there was nothing that actually got affected by it before so what this glitch is is if you have any weapon with grants and extra charge of rack attack you can actually proc the on action skill and anointed effects from your shield and grenade bot to give um elemental damage for 10 seconds and you can proc it just by switching weapons and this anointed effect the gain and extra charge of rack attack has been broken since the game came out basically what happens is if you had a rack attack and you switch to the weapon with the extra charge, it would then start a cooldown of that extra charge and add it on as you had the weapon out. If you switch to a new weapon, it'll just take that charge away. So pretty much what it does is consider an extra skill being used even if you don't have any extra skill ability actually learned, even if you don't have rack attack learned. So, as you see, I'm just shooting, I'm just doing the kinetic dam the damage with this weapon, but if I take out this Lyuda with the extra charge of Rack Attack Anointed, switch to a different weapon, now I'm doing two different elemental damages because of my Anointed Shield and Grenade mod, and that's pretty much the entire glitch. This has been known that this pretty much does this since the game came out, or at least a few weeks after I saw Reddit post about this, but nothing really triggered and worked with it um until the raid when these anointed for shields and grenade mods came out and it is a very nice and pretty much unavoidable glitch if you're using a weapon with it and it works with pretty much any build on flak just because you don't need rack attack actually learned you don't need any action skill actually learned and it will still do it so it's just a ton of extra damage so that is the first glitch very easy to do pretty powerful and pretty nice for flak build. So for the second glitch and the main glitch, we're going to be going over how you can get unlimited melee damage and a few other less useful stats. Now this is going to be done the same way as a few other glitches in which you're equipping and unequipping shields to stack some effect that it has on them. And this is going to be on the Rough Rider shields. Now the reason you need the Rough Rider shields is because you can't have any shield. With having no shield as the Rough Rider does, you won't lose these effects when the shield breaks because you don't have any shields. So if you do this on other shields, say the Brawler Ward now, if your shield breaks, you lose all the stacked effects. Now the three stats you can get are movement speed, and it has to be the while shield is depleted um, stat increase. You can get movement speed, you can get to melee damage, which is the one we'll be showing in this video. Then you can get reload speed. The other two, not as useful as melee damage. So what I'd recommend you doing is completely emptying your inventory of everything, especially if you're on console because it will lag the more items you have in your inventory. If you're trying to switch back and forth very quickly, it will just lag more and it's much easier to do it this way. So basically what you're gonna do, you're gonna put the Rough Rider on and you're going to stay in your inventory. And then all you're going to do is pretty much switch back and forth like this. Now, all you need to do is have it equipped then press whatever the select button is. So on PC, um, the basic one or the preset keybind is E. So you just spam the keybind back and forth, equip it, unequip it as much as you possibly can. Now there's a few things with this. If you exit your inventory, then re-enter your inventory and try to stack it again, it will reset the stacks. So you have to do this all at once. And you can do this as long as you want and just sit here and spam me as long as you want watch a video watch netflix whatever and get to legitimately pretty much unlimited damage i don't know if there's some massive number that the game's gonna stop you at i know you can get up to like a billion damage i'm pretty sure but you just do this make sure the shield is equipped once you're done you will hear a loud noise so turn down your sound if you have it really loud because it basically multiplies the sound um, of the depleted effect on you and now we have 152k just from that amount of time with the face puncher which does melee damage if you don't know you can melee it 78k and that's pretty much the entire glitch you can go one shot legitimately everything with this i've gone over this before and it works the exact same way still works as of dlc one has not been fixed there's a bunch of 
versions of this that have been fixed in the past, the Brawler Ward one, um, now you lose all your stacks and glitch stacks when that's depleted. And most other shields um, do not have an effect like this at all. So this is pretty much your main one. You would still get infinite damage. You can go one shot everything in the raid, one shot everything on Mayhem 4 that doesn't have immunity phases, and pretty much just steamroll everything in the game that you want for very little effort because you just have to spam one button once you have one of these shields. It doesn't need annoyance or anything like that. It just needs the um, melee damage while shield is depleted, and that is the entirety of the glitch. So those are two glitches I want to go over. Keep an eye out for my flak raid build that will be next. Um, I probably won't be using the flak glitch in that, but still, if you guys want to use that flak glitch, if you want to use this Rough Rider glitch, go ahead and use it. So subscribe if you want to see more Borderlands 3 content. Leave a like if you liked the video. Leave a comment down below what you guys think about these glitches, and thanks for watching. Vault Hunter. has been a van.